In this parametric design video, I want to talk about the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And as you can see here, the roof is opening. So we're going to talk about this in Grasshopper also and see how easy it is. So uh, if you watch this video, you can see here that it's opening and closing. So let's also see a small video here. This is the roof. And here it goes. And you can see that this uh, stadium is opening. And the most important thing is that those segments are moving in a rail. So it's really easy. You can see uh, if you just focus on the project, you can see that these are moving in just a single line. So in Grasshopper, what we are going to do is to make this uh, with different segments. We can just increase the segments or decrease that. Uh, we can also change the radius, as you can see here, and we can have an opening. So uh, this can easily uh, be an example of how you can move parts from another just by a simple algorithm. So basically what we are going to talk about is how we can model this in Grasshopper. And uh, as you can see in this project, these uh, segments are opening and are made by uh, 3D trusses and uh, now you can see that this is simply opening and you can see that because it's eight segments uh, you can also always see that eight-sided polygon here uh, okay and again you can see that eight polygon so it's simply just moving uh, away and again you can see in that image that this is the rail. So how can we make this in Grasshopper? Uh, when you just want to start modeling this or anything in Grasshopper, what I suggest is to uh, okay, start with Rhino. So assume that we want to model this. First, try to make this in Rhino. We're going to go to the polygon center radius. And I have made that eight sides number of sides because this is, uh, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight sided, okay? So we can simply make that center zero and use the shift key if we want to have an auto, okay? So if I just uh, make a surface from three or four points, I can head to the center and one of those edges and Let's just go to the shaded and make an array, polar array from that at the center and number eight. And here we go. You can see that we have made the closed state uh, of the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. So what happens is that in this picture, you can also see that this is uh, the rail direction. If we assume that these are triangles, because this part is not really important, and you can see that all of those are simply triangle. And what we want to do is to move that in the direction of the edge. So this is really easy. All we have to do is to move them in the uh, direction of this edge of the triangle. So this will move in this direction and this one in this direction. So let's just do that and see if it's correct. Okay, let's just go back to this. And I'm going to draw a simple line from here, okay? And simply move this from this point to this point, maybe, right? So if I just go and type array polar from zero and eight times, uh, we have this, okay, let's just do that. From zero, the number of items is eight, right? 360 degrees and you can see that that's correct. It's easily done by just simply moving this in the edge. So again from zero and here we go. So this is really simple. What we have to do is to make this in Grasshopper. So uh, let's just get started. Delete these things and we can simply go to the curve section and in the primitive, uh, in the curve section, we have this polygon thing, which I will use this one because it just uh, produces a polygon from a center. So let's just put the bifocals plugin so you can see the names. Okay, uh, 
and the center of the plane is x, y in 0, 0, 0. That's fine. Let's just extract that and turn this off. And the radius can be a simple number, which we can change. OK. The segments, uh, we can start from 4 to maybe 18 and double click the number slider and put that into even numbers because uh, if you put that in odd the problem is that they will intersect so let's just do that and put that to the segment so you can see we can increase that okay and now what we want to do is to uh, make that triangle and uh, move that on the edge so what i want to do is to simply go and go to the curve and use this explode thing Okay, uh, we will have eight segments. Uh, we can simply use the item tool. Okay, list item and pick one of those segments. That's fine. And now uh, let's just turn everything off. Uh, we can simply make a triangle by the center and these two points. So let's just go to the curve section and use the end points. The start and the end and go to the surface and use this four point surface tool so the two points the two corners are going to be these two one and another corner will be just extracted let's just set this to zero right so this is the triangle and what we want to do is to move it in this edge so let's just move that in the motion which is basically a vector so what we want to do is to go to the palms menu and choose the vector in here connect that to this edge and it will automatically uh, automatically convert that edge to the vector okay so now we can just multiply that in the math section or with a number and give that to motion so now you can see that we can move that and we can turn everything off and at the end we can just simply type array and find the polar array and just use this okay the center is fine xy at the center again we can extract that and turn that off if we don't want to see the plane the count is the number we just gave here to the segments and the angle is 2 pi, which is 360 degrees. That's fine. That we can turn everything off. And now you can see that we can open and close that simply by this multiplication. We can change the radius. We can change the numbers. And let's see if I just put that on odd. Okay, that's fine. That's great. So it's also working for the odd numbers. I, I didn't know that. So you can also see that that will work for any uh, polygon. That's great. So you can uh, use that for anything. Let's just put to the numbers and you can see that you can increase that or decrease that. Five is also fine. And you can change the radius. You can change the multiplication. And change the numbers okay so this was a simple tutorial of how you can understand from the uh, Mercedes Benz Stadium and it's a really simple algorithm as you can see we just made uh, the same thing we just uh, we made in Rhino so we made it in Grasshopper and we can change that simply by the multiplication so you can also download this example from our website I will put it in the description Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel and you can also watch uh, something that is related to this video that corner and see you next time.